Hello everyone, this is what I learned today. The story of the crew of the Ethiopian Boeing 737-700, who, after being hit by a swarm of locusts in January 2020, had to open the cockpit side window and clean the windscreen by hand at 2,600 meters of altitude. In 1988, the US government wanted to know how strong reinforced concrete is, the very same stuff used in construction of nuclear reactor facilities, so they launched an F-4 Phantom jet at 500 miles per hour and slammed it head-on directly into a slab of concrete. The stack effect helps drive natural ventilation, air infiltration, and fires. This fire instructor demonstrates the chimney effect to trainees. Mass produced and sold throughout the US as early as the beginning of the 20th century, chicken eyeglasses were intended to prevent feather pecking and cannibalism. Their lenses were mainly rose-colored, to prevent aggressive behavior linked to blood sight. This interesting chart shows how the tracks of all known hurricanes have never crossed the equator due to the Coriolis force. Born today in 1909, Marguerite Perre was the chemist who discovered francium, or element 87, the last naturally occurring element to be discovered. Born 111 years ago today, Subramanian Chandrasekhar was the father of the best model for stars and black holes evolution. 54 years ago today, Mariner 5 spacecraft flew by Venus at a minimum distance of 5,000 kilometers. It's still orbiting around the sun. This clip has a definitely unexpected ending. The stunning optical illusions by Professor Kokichi Sugihara. Owls are masters in using blind spots and in flying in an extremely silent manner, thanks to a special feather adaption. These engraved images of two giraffes, estimated to be some seven to 9,000 years old, have been found atop a 50-foot high sandstone outcrop in the Sahara Desert of northeastern Niger in 1998. This is big wind and it was designed to put out oil well fires with a couple of a military jet's engines and the body of a battle tank. This 3D swirl carpet requires the viewer to occupy a specific vantage point, but it's quite impressive. These 3D printed objects work like small machines as they're pushed, pulled, and squeezed. The internal mechanics are driven by different kinds of gridded microstructures, creating both hard and soft sections that move in different ways. Stunning iridescent clouds captured by photographer Oleg Bartanov on the early morning of October 18, 2009 over Mount Thamsirku from Trail to Kumjung, just 500 meters from Road Fork to Gokyo and Tengbosh, Himalayas, Nepal. In other news today, our sun is roughly middle-aged. Have you ever seen a spiral like Aurora? This photo was taken by photographer Juan Carlos Casado in August 2016 over Thingvallagatun Lake in Iceland, a lake that partly fills a fault that divides Earth's large Eurasian and North American tectonic plates. Some liquids grow fingers and the Marangoni effect is behind this. These fingers form at the edge of a puddle of isopropyl alcohol and ethylene glycol as it spreads. Each finger is about half a millimeter wide. On August 31, 2012 a long filament of solar material erupted out into space. The coronal mass ejection traveled at over 1500 km per second without hitting directly Earth but connecting to its magnetosphere. The NASA Crew Earth Observations Experiment is a payload on the International Space Station, and is the gateway to astronaut photography. This video was taken by the crew of Expedition 42 on August 12, 2015 during a pass over New Zealand. American woodcock often bob and rock, but it's not the so-called sky dance. This may instead create enough vibration that it will disturb earthworms, so that the birds can forage them. What keeps ships from toppling over? This video explains why ships stay upright and what can cause them to lean over. Perseverance rover carries two microphones which are directly recording sounds on Mars, including the Ingenuity helicopter and the rover itself at work. For the very first time, these audio recordings offer a new way to experience the planet. 